I think it was pretty magical. It was what was neat about it is um, that I, I genuinely thought that the the yeah. light source inside that I was looking at that looked like the sun was the sun. Um, but the fact, the way it changed, it made me appreciate how light from a skylight, how important it is that it moves and changes and is dynamic, and how you actually sense that. That up to now, I just you just kind of take it for granted when you're underneath a, rig, a real skylight under electric light. Um, it just made me appreciate how static that really is, uh, and that's what's really cool about it. You know, the, the, or the possibilities are amazing. I, I could see on you know, nicer, higher-end projects that that are really trying to do an awful lot uh, in tight spaces or where just physically you can't in a three-story building. You can't physically get something down low, but you can have now that kind of dynamic light happening throughout the day would be. Fantastic. Definitely fantastic. Oh, okay. Is this That's real? real? It's not, not real. real. Not real, but it looks like real. It's huh? just deep. Huh? Oh, I, I like that idea. It's amazing. It's we real. Should, yeah, we should ask. forcing it in a kind of theatrical way too and creating a day over a two minutes you know period of time sort of make it program to change the real time as well as simulate the uh, actual stuff. Um I was really surprised at how how pleasant it, it was and that it sort of seemed to trick my senses into thinking that there was daylight. My first thought is that it would be a really good solution for places that have no access to daylight so I mean, I actually thought that it would be great for a, <laughs> a prison situation or where you're, <laughs> where you're uh, in a facility where you're, you're locked down and psychologically it would really help people. It's a wonderful product for places where you can't get natural light. And I, I have a couple of you know, multi-unit places that I can't get natural light. I'm on a property line, I can't put a window in. And this would really be a good solution. Uh, it was really one of a kind. I've seen other artificial skylight products before, um, and the fact that you, you really get a sense of depth and dimension, seeing the sun that moves as it follows you as you walk around the space, uh, I think really makes it a unique product. Um, I could definitely see this in a residential application or perhaps in an office building. Nowadays you see really, really large, you know, almost warehouse size office spaces, and those poor people at the center of the building have no access to daylight giving them something that looks like daylight and can give them some sort of a connection with the outdoors, I think is really beneficial. 